we are looking at the internal structure of the vertical stabilizer. The forward spar is uh, designed to give strength to the skins and the ribs which will attach there too. Removing the blue vinyl And we mark the uh, part identification directly onto the metal since the label is now removed. The small piece is added to give strength to the spar itself. These clecos are added to align the, the doubler to the spar so that we can match drill the holes. Match drilling is using the, the template which is already pre-punched to exactly align holes with the adjoining spar. There's about 10 holes here that have to be match drilled. So you insert the drill bit into the pre-punched hole and then bear down directly onto the undrilled spar that's underneath and create the hole. The metal filings create a bit of a mess and I try to keep them removed from the work area so that the aluminum does not become scratched as you might drag across. One of the holes uh, is designed uh, to take a bolt, a quarter inch bolt, so I'm enlarging uh, that bolt hole. That way the uh, spar will mount to the airplane structure eventually. So it was uh, a one eighth inch diameter hole, now it's a quarter inch. And we remove the doubler. Uh, the template portion there is detached with the aid of the saw. Since it's no, no longer necessary, I mean, the, uh, the match drilling is complete now, so it's an unneeded, unwanted piece. a little nub left over from that trimming process so I'm gonna take it take it off with the file and finally we finish up with the Touch bright wheel to make it perfectly smooth. We reattach the doubler. Reason we have to trim the lower part of the spar.
There's the mark. And back to the band saw. Watch those fingers. All right. This is uh, where we dimple the doubler. It will uh, accept uh, flush rivets this way. So we put a dimple on the aft facing side. We do the same thing to the spar itself because these two pieces of metal, as you've been see, seeing, uh, they go together and we have to dimple both of them so they'll sit flush. Once that happens, it would be ready for riveting. Done.